Good morning everybody, my name's Kimberly, welcome to my day. Well, if you're following on along yesterday, you would have seen that uh, it wasn't the best day. Uh, so we'll have to try and solve that case of the rounded off uh, engine pipe nut today. I've got a few ideas, but unfortunately it involves driving to Musselbrook or Rutherford, one or the other. Uh, anyway, some other good news is I've got a new lens coming for this camera, so now I'll have a third one to wreck. And, and the Huntsman's gone. So, he was alive. Okay. So that's a uh, story for today. I'm going to have some breakfast. I'm not going to get too enthusiastic about today. Whatever we get done, we get done. After yesterday's uh, little saga, I feel like I just need to just slow this down a little bit and uh, see what we can get done and be happy with that. Okay, so breakfast time. Okay, well it's been a really interesting morning and I still don't have the sockets I need. It's 10.14. It's been interesting because I've been searching around for the sockets locally and I had to get some fuel anyway. So I thought before I drive anywhere, let me just see if I can get them locally. I couldn't, so I got some other things that I needed. Um, and I've got some cold chisels just in case I have to use that option. But I've been had to had to park up and have long conversations on the phone with uh, Central Lands Council regarding permits. So I'm not exactly sure. The young the young lady there was struggling to find my permit application, and then she found it, and then she seemed like she was a little bit lost. But uh, anyway, it looks like my uh, permit for myself and Misty prior to this season is approved. Uh, we're going to go on a little trip ourselves with, without any clients, which we've never had a chance to do before. Um, and the other one is one that I'm trying to add to the gun barrel canning. I've had a look at the itinerary I did for the gun barrel canning. It's different to previous years because we weren't permitted to use a road that we used to use. And so potentially we could have an extra day if we manage it properly that we could utilize to go somewhere that I think everyone would be happy to go. Now it might cost us was it might cost us an extra hundred dollars each but I think uh, lots of people would like to do that trip. So I've I know the track but I don't know if permits are issued for it uh, permits to traverse. Uh, lots of times in NT, the CLC permits are uh, kind of what they call self-issue. So you just nominate the track and apply for the permit, pay the money, away you go. Uh, but of course there could well be tracks that are, you know, um, considered private. Um, you know, business roads or whatever, as they call them. So... Um, I was just asking Samantha to check that, you know, it was actually possible to drive on this particular road. And, and, and it's such an obscure road that <clears throat> we're not even sure what its name is. Um, uh, Walka Alkata is one possibility. Walka Alkata track or Walka Alkata road. But um, that's just a guess uh, based on what I've seen on the map and so forth. So as far as I can tell, there are no communities along the route. Um, so we don't need entry permits. But there are homelands, so we wouldn't be able to camp or anything like that. I, I wouldn't imagine. Anyway, that's been a long kind of discussion this morning trying to sort that out. While I'm trying to do some mechanical kind of work or purchasing for mechanical work. So now I've got to drive about 50k to see if I can get these spanners, these special spanners. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, these are what are known as twist sockets. 
Uh, I just hope they're going to do the job. It's already 10.55 a.m. I've spent a fortune. I live in a coal mining area. I live in the Hutt Valley. And there's a two mines really close by me. At least two. Three in, in total. Rix's Creek. I uh, forget what the underground one's called. And then there's another one just to my north here now that I can't remember the name of. Horizon, I taught, I trained all the Horizon people out of Rockhead. In uh, all those who were uh, needing to drive four-wheel drives. Okay, lunch is done. I got the engine pipe off. I didn't film it because I didn't want to uh, hear you all, have you all hear me swearing if it didn't work. But it did work. So that's good news. So now what that means is we have to fit the new engine pipe. And we need the gasket to do that. I do have to get this shed cleaned up. I've been working two, uh, seven days a week for nearly two years. So have a chance. Anyway, there's our engine pipe. What we need is the gasket. That's in that packet of stuff. So, let's have a look at the list here. There are some gaskets in here. They all look the same. None of them look like the right one compared to what was on there, but that probably doesn't mean a lot. So, look here. And plug, flange nut, exhaust nut, um, gasket 4 bolt, but where's the gasket 3 bolt? That's implying I have to get a new gasket. So there's no gasket for that. It's not included in the kit. So there you go, there's another trap. I should have checked that earlier. Gasket 4 bolt, no gasket 3 bolt. Well that's ridiculous, isn't it? They supply you a kit that's turbo back, but they don't supply you a gasket. Oh dear. So, looks like we're going to go and get ourselves a new gasket now. It's a copper sort of thing. You wouldn't dare put this oven back. It would be foolish. But we will take this to the shop. Here we go again. I don't think we can get away with anything at the moment. It just seems to be endless. Okay. Nothing we can do about it. Let's get going. Well, it's a good thing I set a low bar today for my expectations because it's 3.30 p.m. and so far today I've managed to undo one nut. But it was the troublesome nut, so that's good. After lots of driving and spending lots of money, I've managed to get... Uh, rubber. Uh, I need a lever of some kind. I don't know if I can reach anything to lever off except my body <sighs> oh, come on that's the way so now really how it's supposed to go. Hmm. No, that doesn't work either. That does not work either. Come on, 
gasket. Line up. Line up, Mr. Gasket. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Too far now. There you, go. there you go. That's what we needed. Don't go falling out now. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Alright. Alright, you can hang down just for the moment. Although, you're not enough bolt there. I'm going to pull some slack up. It's very dark now, and I'm done for the day, and what a day it has been. Whew. We'll uh, get on to the rest of it tomorrow, and then I've got a whole lot of pressing other issues I have to get to. In fact, I'll do some of those tonight. Time to lock up the shed. <laughs>